Freddie Chapman, uh, 18 years old and loose head prop. I come from a football family. Dad and brother both played football. Brother played for West Ham. Dad played a bit of non-league football. And then I kind of just went into that as well. Probably would say it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't the greatest. And I, I, I kind of just did it to um, just make my dad happy. Um, but he's, a, he's very supportive. So once he kind of realised that I didn't want to do that, he, um, he kind of said like, yeah, that's fine but I'd, I want you to do something. And um, I kind of said, oh, well, I, I want to give rugby a go. And he was like, no chance. I was like, what do you mean? And, uh, and he said, well, you don't move on a, on a football pitch. <laughs> you don't move on a rugby pitch. <laughs> From there, give it a go. Yeah, I went down to a local uh, rugby club at Minstone. Yeah, loved it ever since. Got into a county setup, Essex. And then it started getting into a bit more of like an academy setup. And from there, they selected the yeah, Saracens Academy, and I ended up getting selected for that. Right at the end of college, um, we ended up going to a sevens tournament, and uh, well, prop playing sevens isn't <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit of a question mark, but ended up going to a sevens tournament, and there was a Wales Exiles uh, bus there. My coach, he's from Wales, and he kind of said like, oh yeah, you should sign yourself up. So um, I was like, all right, obviously I'll give it a go, and then. Um, Gareth Davies ended up getting in contact with me and after that Mike Ruddock ended up getting in contact with me as well. Had a few con uh, calls, meetings and stuff and um, ended up getting a date to come down and have a look around, a bit, a bit of training with Ospreys and, and ended up coming over for two weeks and yeah. Freddie was in the Saracens age grid uh, team, uh, teams and uh, but was Welsh qualified so he's come down. We've organised a plumbing apprenticeship for him. Uh, through an external company uh, and we've had a lot of support for these type of initiatives with local companies and obviously with Swans University as well. I was told that I wasn't selected and then I got a call uh, j just after the first day had started saying that I've been called into the squad. Well, it was a good result against Scotland and then ended up getting an email saying that I'd been selected and I was I was with my nan and granddad at the time as well, and uh, they were over the moon. Um, so yeah. When I when I first arrived, I, I couldn't drive at the time, so I, the only thing I really had was a was a bike, and obviously it was like, as soon as I got it. So I didn't really know the boys well enough to go. Oh, can I manage to grab a lift every day? But uh, so yeah, it was cycling to training every day, just trying to get used to the the city and stuff. And um, I ended up living with Mike Ruddock for a, for. A, for a few weeks, um, <laughs> which was a uh, which was a fun, funny and weird experience, <laughs> but it was, it was very good and learnt a lot from him. So yeah, it was it was a bit tough at the start with the, the cycling because early early mornings and having to get up and cycle at five in the morning in the pouring rain or like late at night, with, like getting home at like eleven o'clock when it's soaking wet to then go go straight to sleep and then wake up again at five in the morning to then do it all over again, but. Yeah, it was, I wouldn't have changed it and I think it's pushed me forward a bit harder.